Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs>couldn't film because I'm out here by myself and I can't really film and replace the window so uh, the window got replaced it was like a little bit more difficult than I thought but still it was easy um, what I had to do is unbolt here 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 and here and the whole like re window regulator drops out you just pull it out through here and then bolt the new one up in the original spot and then um, I slid the window in here, dropped it all the way down. And then there's two screws on this regulator. I'll show you one of them because the other one's in a difficult spot. So just like this, you unscrew these and then on your new window, they should come up with these white tabs and they'll just screw into those white tabs. And the other one, I literally, I did, I tried to do that one first and then do this one, but that didn't work. So you have to take this off and then do this one first because it's the hardest one and literally get it right in between here. So you get it, screw that one in and then screw the easy one in, which is hard when you screw one one side in, the other side is going to be harder. So it was easier in the more room in. So I did that and then yeah. New window, who dis? So I just cleaned up all the glass that was broken back, or not all of it, but like, there's still stuff back there. I might vacuum again. But um, vacuum up the glass and put the door panel back on. And I think there's one more thing I wanted to do, which is, and it's starting to rain, or not rain, but it looks like it's going to, which sucks. And I'm also freaking going to New Mexico on Monday, because I gotta go to New Mexico for work. So I'm gonna be gone, but I wanna put this uh, where this ground is supposed to be. There's these grounds right here. They're supposed to be located at the thermostat, but I have, uh, I don't know if you guys remember when I was building this car, it has terrible resistance at that thermostat where you're supposed to screw in the ECU ground and stuff like that. So I grounded it on the trans and it's just literally bare wire just going to here. But what I want to do is put it in here and then screw it around there so it's like cleaner. But that's it. So I'm going to put the door panel back on. And yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to do. That's probably it. So I'm kind of just doing that. So yeah. Show you two pictures that were taken yesterday when I finally figured out what was going on with my car. Those are the two pictures. As you guys can see, my distributor is fucked. Like, what happened? So, on my way back from 
picking on my car from getting tuned. Uh, I was doing another pool, just one last pool before I put it away down the street right here. And when I was doing the pool, when I first was good, second was good, third, as soon as I got in the third gear, something happened. What do you guys see on the picture? That's what happened. The distributor just got destroyed. The rotor, some something messed up. It did like a whole 180 on the metal piece that actually holds it onto the uh, the shaft. And the, the cap got destroyed. So I got a new distributor. Lucky the distributor was on warranty. And I got a new cap. So um, I'm actually going to take this cap off because... Uh, uh, there's a plastic piece in there that's rubbing the old plastic piece. I put it back in there, the plastic piece that goes behind the rotor. I put it back in there because um, it's supposed to be in there. But I think it's rubbing in there because I, I smell like dirty plastic. So I'm going to take that out and just run it without the cap because it's uh, freaking burning. And then um, right now, what am I doing right now? Um, yeah, it's been two days since I freaking got tuned. So... Um, I was trying to figure out why my car wasn't starting for the past two days, but, um, I want to still put my window back in. I kind of figured out what was, uh, what I needed to do. And I also got the box with the actual window, uh, manual window, um, thing. I don't even know what you call it. Whatever. I got a replacement one that you put back here and it rolls out the window. So I got the window and that so I could fix that today. And what am I doing right now? Really nothing. Um, I was out here like tightening up a couple bolts that kind of came loose on the trans. Um, yeah, so I'm probably just gonna put the replacement window back in right now. And I just wanted to up you, update you guys since uh, my car went to start for two days. I didn't really record. I was just trying to figure it out. And then, uh, yeah, the car drives well now. So we're just put on this window.